Hello folks, we're back with more Reader Training. Today we're going to look at stairs for our building, our commercial building. So here, what we would like to do is we want to go into level one, which we are, and then we want to go zoom in to this area right here. Okay, so we want to come here and we want to create the stairs. So let's go into our architecture tab and we want to select the stair. And then here we want to run location. Location is going to be exterior support, right? Uh, run width will be three foot four inches. And now we'll do go here and we'll just take our stairs. So I want to go like five feet from there. I want to go up to the eleventh stair, right there. And then I want to make another point here. And it will just bring us all the way down to zero remaining. So there's our stair. Now, okay, now next what we'll do here, we'll just finish this stair. Okay, we got a little issue there. Uh, okay, I think we can ignore that for now. So the next thing we want to do, we want to move the stair into place. So I'll just select this line here, these two lines, and I'll move it up to this part right here. Okay, so there's our stair move. Now, okay. Now we're on the first level here. Now let's move up to level two. So there's our stair. So what we want to do in level two, we want to uh, select this. We want to edit this boundary. This is our floor of the second level floor. So I'm gonna align this line to there. And that's going to do it. So I'm gonna finish that. Uh, we don't attach, nope. So there's our stair. So now, uh, what we like to do is we, uh, the outer railing and the wall don't need a railing. So we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this railing. Okay, so I'm going to select the outer railing here, this one. And then I'm going to change this type to guardrail. So here in the type selector, hit edit type. And this is going to be guardrail here. So I'm going to change this. I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm going to give this a new name. I'm going to call this uh, Handrail Only. I think that's two words. Handrail Only. Okay, then from that point, I'm going to say OK to this. And then I'm going to go down, scroll down to my handrail one. This is handrail one. And here, of the type I want right here, I want to change this to pipe wall mount. This in here. Pipe wall mount. There you go. And then here, I want to select the bar placement here. I'm going to say OK. This is OK. And then here, I want this unticked because we're not going to use it. Here, what we got here? That ticked, yep, untick, and then we got pipe wall mount. So this is okay. Now let's go look in the structure here. Set this. Now here, this is handrail only, and this is the outer rail, so we don't need it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete all of these. I don't need them, so I'm going to delete. Oh, 
okay do you want to continue yes I want to continue on delete 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 so now I want nothing here basically that's the data so I'm going to apply I'm going to say okay now here let's go back into our okay we're looking good here so Let's take a look at this structure one more time, and that's good. We don't want anything there for the inner rail, so run it OK there. And then here. Now, in this dialog, uh, for a regular, we want to say none. And then let me see regular dollar string none. Here we got zero. I'm gonna change this to four inches. Apply. And then here the baluster family. I don't need any balances, so I'm going to go here, none as well. Okay, now here I want a space of three eighths of an inch. And this one is going to be negative three-eighths of an inch because you're going around the baluster so three-eighths of an inch okay and then down here at corner post we're going to say never and then we're going to okay that I want to click this button again. Okay, now we're going to say okay here. Just want to make sure there are no rails in here, so we'll say okay. And we'll click okay again. Okay, now there's our railing. As you can see, and we have our supports. So now we got in here, let me see, let me measure this. Need to be like three inches off here, I think. Let me just measure just from here to here. One inch. Okay. So we made that one inch. That's fine. Okay. And now we want to grab the railing again here. We want to select the inner railing first. So that would be this one. Let's start with this one right here and then we want to give this an offset um, so the offset here will be uh, this is going to be minus one go here minus zero space one inch here and there you go so now that's our inner rail now let's do the outer rail here so we got it with our supports and this one is going to be also this is going to be negative two so we'll go minus two here apply so there's our railing in place and we're all looking good there Okay, so now we have that done. So that's basically how you would do this. You would take these stairs and change them. As you can see now, our support is there in place. Let's just go have a section and look at this to see what we're looking like here in section. So we go here. Okay, so there's our railing and our supports. So that's basically how you would do that. You would go in and make those changes that way because we don't need railing in the uh, 
center portion. So now um, let's go on to our back into our level two. Well, I'm gonna just yeah, let's go back into our level two. Oh, this is level one anyway. So now what I want to do here, I want to select this guy, this this there, well. Okay, now let's go into our project browser. And then we'll go down to railings. And then on the railings, we'll look at pipe mount. So I want to select it and I'll open our type properties. In here, we want to say extension style. We want to go to wall. And then we want to say plus thread depth. We want to check it. Then we'll click OK, apply, and OK. So there's our stair. And now what we want to do next is we want to go up to level two. So it's going to swing up to level two here. And I want to select this. And I want to edit this boundary here because, okay, this is already got it in there. So I'm going to just take him and slide him up to here. Actually, no, we don't. Let me do this. Let me undo that. I'm sorry, folks. And we want to take this type of effect here for this. Um, We want to slope here. Okay, so there's our stair. And we want to just adjust this uh, line right here. And it should go right. It should be there. And then I think I want to do this. And another line. There. Let's clean this up, and we'll finish that. Don't attach. Okay, so now finished, and then that's it. There's our stairs. So uh, that's how you would do these stairs. Uh, they basically let me do a section through here. Okay, so there's our stair with our railings and our floor level landing and everything. So hey guys, uh, next we'll go and look at, we'll go down to our level one floor plan now. Let's look at these other stairs. Let's go to level one. And I wanna go right over here, approximately in this area right here. And I'm gonna just add the stair so it's going to be right about here. Just going to just you know just place it here because we can move and edit it around. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go um, back at the architecture stair, and from about here, because we got this open here, I'm going to go from here. Oh, cancel that. Sorry. So I want to go to. I don't want to place it right about here, but this 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 one I want to go center. Yeah, I want to go four feet here for these. So this is going to be four foot stair. Click enter, and then here. Let's just draw right about here, and we want to go up. So this is going to be my first point right there. Then I want to take this up to number eight, I think. I like to 
go about halfway. <laughs> 16 remaining, 17 with those numbers, so I think it's going to be there. I'm going to go with 11 here. I'm going to come across. I'm going to go back down with there. Now we got to make some adjustments here because this is definitely not um, the length I want. It's a little wider. I don't know exactly where, but let's just pull this in. Let's, let's grab this guy here. Let's just pull him across like so. We'll go with that right about there like that. Okay, so now we want to select the uh, I'm going to select this uh, landing here. And then we want to select this command right here, convert. Yes, and I want to close this. And there's our landing now. Uh, let me see, we got our four feet here. Yep. Okay, so now we want to do a little accent thing here. So I'm going to select, let's see here, let me select level one there, level one. Let's go to level two now. Okay, now at level two, okay, so this gives a pretty good idea where we're going with this. So uh, right here now, I want to select this railing right here. I want to edit this boundary. Well, I want to just place a, a line here. So let's go and just place a arc right here. I'll tell you what, guys, I'm going to leave it here. Got to get out and catch a flight. So let's finish this. Uh, cancel that. We'll continue this later on, but hey guys, thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody, please subscribe and be safe. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.